Sex with Cassie and Sean. Basically, he would uh, he would masturbate and tell me what to do with Cassie. I had like 15 encounters, and I heard a lot. Oh, uh, hidden in plain sight. It's hidden. Uh, yeah, I think I see what you're saying. Okay. okay, how do I know this? Yeah, that's what I want to know. How do you know this? Do you know Sean Combs? Puff Daddy. Yeah. P Diddy, whatever you call yourself yeah. these days. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, he's part of what's called the Boule. The, the Boule. The Boule is a branch of the Illuminati. Okay. It's the black people. Okay. Uh, I'm from Africa, so I'm not a racist. Okay. Okay, you're my brother, so I like black people. Okay. My my mom, I was raised by a by an African woman in my house. Okay? okay. She was just a servant, but she was my my own she you know, took care of. Me. Right. So I love black people. Okay. Okay. Um I had settlement with Sean, okay? He's Donald Trump, okay, because he used to belong to their side. You understand? He used to belong to that illuminated group that I told you about, which is an elite group, okay, of individuals which run the whole country. All right. All right. Um, basically, what I did, did you tell him how, I, did you explain him about the message? Or no, please, 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 elaborate. On Thursday, turning to Friday, basically, I went to Donald Trump. I went through the, the gates. I took a, the, no, sorry, I jumped the fence and I took the American flag and I put it in the front desk and I blew up the chandelier. I, basically, what I did that for is to transmit a statement to the American people and to Donald Trump that we're not accepting any more corruption and abuse from their system of friends. Okay. okay? Donald's still blind because he thinks that he, had, he let Hillary off the hook and she's okay. You understand what I'm saying? I'm trying, okay. Keep going. Um, it ain't like that. The CIA and then they want to do the same thing that he did to JFK. Okay. okay. Alright. Why? Because they want the United States to fall. They, they've already been creating a state of chaos and confusion in the United States and they want the United States to fall. Donald was against their agenda. And won the presidency, okay? He did get help from Russia. He did get help from the Saudis. He also got help from a lot of Republicans mm -hmm. in here, which is a, the electoral college vote. And he got a lot of support from Republican people, okay? okay. Um, the elections, yeah, they were fair, but he wanted the electrical college vote. Right, right. Which is the Republican vote, basically, cutting through, okay? Mm -hmm. He didn't get the, the popular vote, popular right, okay? Right. I, I hear you. Keep so it. basically, the interior, he got, he made it. He's president-elect by the Electoral College. So, he made it. The situation is that he still hasn't kicked out the corruption from the system. He's letting them stay due to a... Uh, Get your money, basically, because they all like making money. That's why they're all billionaires, etc. So there's only a few, there's select few of that run the country, okay? Mm -hmm. Um. So, if you 
I know you may or may not, I know you're going to believe me. Um, you have what's called the Illuminati. Illuminati. Oh, Illuminati. 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 Okay. Yeah, Illuminati. Okay. okay. They've made it in dance. Basically what it means, illuminated. I guess. Okay. Um, they do satanic ritual abuse, which is basically CIA mind programming techniques mm-hmm. to their own family, kids, uh, etc. on the group. And they bond that way. Okay. So they do uh, sexual pedophilia, they do uh, animal abuse, uh, killing of animals, blood sacrifices and everything in the Bohemian Grove, okay? Right. The Bohemian Grove, the bushes go there. Um, George C. and George, both of them are in the same agenda. Um, they caught they cause us with the Clintons, okay? So is Donald Trump. He's also a distant cousin. So if you see, there's a direct correlation of the presence of the United States being bonded between family ties, okay? Gotcha. All these family ties, while not, go back to the same place, the royal family in England, okay? The, the family here of the Illuminati are descendants of the royal British family, okay? They have children between themselves. Why? Because it's they and they have that issue. You understand? They want like superiority of the race. Mm-hmm. They see it that way. But it really is, it backfires them because it makes them simple-minded. You understand? When you when you have sex with someone in your family, your kids are not gonna come out smart. You understand? They're going to come out of dumb. All right? So, Donald turned his back, but he's still trying to negotiate a peaceful way out, and they have an agenda to kill him. Okay? Example, if you look at the Illuminati card games, example, okay? You look at the, the, the game, the Illuminati card game. I'm not familiar with it, so help me understand. It's a card game. It's a card game. That okay. tells you exactly what their agenda is. Gotcha. It's called mental pre-programming. That means that you predispose already, once you play this, your mind, so you predispose that this happening, mm-hmm. and you're accepting it. Okay? So they have a picture of Donald dead in that game. Oh, okay. All right? I'm not crazy. They have the picture of Donald Trump. <coughs> but they also had the Twin Towers. They had everything on there. Gotcha. Okay, from A to Z. So it's kind of like a hidden agenda, which they try to make it open to our eyes, but we can we really don't see it. We're so busy working. It's kind of like oh, uh, hidden in plain sight. It's hidden. Uh, I think I see what you're saying. Okay. okay, how do I know this? Yeah, that's what I want to know. How do you know this? Do you know Sean Combs? Puff Daddy. Yeah. P. Diddy, whatever he calls himself these yeah. days. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, he's part of what's called the Boule. The, the Boule. Is, the Boule is a branch of the Illuminati. Okay. It's the black people. Okay. Uh, I'm from Africa, so I'm not a racist. Okay. Okay, you're my brother, so I like black people. Okay. My, my mom, I was raised by a, by an African woman in my house. Okay. okay. She was just a servant, but she was my, my own. She, you know, took care of her. Right. So I love black people. Okay. okay. Um, I had settlement with Sean, okay? And he belongs to that agenda. That's why he's so famous. They land all the contracts. It's his attorneys, which are Mark Garagos and Ben Mercedes. Mm-hmm. Ben Mercedes worked for Bad Boy Entertainment for four years and worked for Hillary Rodman for five, okay? When I I take Sean the threat of death on me, okay? I don't have it, but I can make it available under secrecy. That means that I wouldn't be liable because I don't want to be getting framed for anything, okay? Right. Um, I had sex with Cassie and Sean. Basically, he would, uh, he would masturbate and tell me what to do with Cassie. I had like 15 encounters and I heard a lot of business because what they would do is Sean talks a lot on the, 
on the phone and on the TV with speakers and stuff, and I would be in the, I was like a sex slave, okay? For them, that's what I was. That's all, all right? Um, I caught herpes, and I came back and I sued them for the herpes and won. But, they didn't, did, Mark Gerros and Ben Mercedes were his attorneys, okay? And Christopher Leons here was my attorney. They asked me to turn in that which was the video recording, and I did so. They gave it back to me accidentally, and it's possible, I, I threw everything out, it's possible I can produce a copy. Gotcha. It's possible, I'm not sure. Now, um, how does this lead towards Donald Trump? Okay. The Mercedes family, uh -huh. Ben Mercedes, uh -huh. that works with Mark Garagos. Mark Garagos used to be Michael Jackson attorney. Yeah, out in Los Angeles. Yeah, yeah. he had a, yeah, he drugged Michael and they all deed him, okay? He didn't overdose. They all deed him. Because they keep the royalties of the music. Michael alone made eight hundred and sixty million dollars alone last year, okay, in twenty seventeen. Which who keeps that royalty? The music companies. Who represents the media and entertainment in the United States? Most of them? Mercedes does. Kenny Mercedes which is Grumman Mercedes Shire out, of, Shire out of New York, okay. okay? So what they've been doing is, they've been promoting a hate agenda against Trump. So people hate him, okay? Because they know he is very alpha, okay? Very alpha in the sense that he likes money, he likes to make money, and he likes women, and they know they want to fame in certain ways with Stormy, with other people because they want him out of the government okay but it ain't happening because it's too smart for them you understand what i'm saying I'm trying to right don is intelligent is we have a similar type of intelligence and overview of things the only thing is he's not seeing that hillary the distant cousin of his and obama have a different plan for him do you understand no offense with obama I love each and every American, but he was part of that 9-11 agenda. He's a CIA agent, a next CIA agent. That's why there's so much identity issues with Obama. Who knows his real name? They say what, what, he, he was born in uh, Indonesia and he's also born in Hawaii. Nobody knows. Why? Because he's an ex-CIA agent. Okay. Basically, Osama bin Laden never existed. It was a creation of the CIA and it was Obama in a cave talking shit and looking like an Arab. And then they bombed the Twin Towers. Okay, so my problem is I'm here to expose each and single one of them to the American public for the crimes committed on September 11th, 2001 and therefore Right. Okay. Now tell, tell me though, uh, how all of that led up to Thursday night, Friday morning. Well, I've what been trying, I've been trying, my settlement put me in a box. Basically I couldn't talk because I was going to be sued. So I let it be, but they've been following me and they've had, Mark Garrick has had uh, the FBI on me, has had other other agencies looking at me and spying on me, okay, because they want to set me up as an extortionist. Like if I was extorting Sean for money, it's wrong. Basically what happened is Diddy sent Ross, which they good buddies, okay, mm -hmm. they, they, they're gay. Who? Both, Diddy and Ross and Cadden. They're all gay. Okay? DJ Kelly, Rick Ross, yeah. and P. Diddy? Yeah. They're all gay? Yeah. Gotcha. All right. Khaled is a Hamas supporter. Okay. A who supporter? Hamas. 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 Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Sorry, I said the wrong. Uh, no, no, no worries. No Hamas right. supporter. Okay. All right. Basically, he's Arab, Palestinian. Okay. Um, the Sirach agenda, okay, is basically binge drinking poured out on a yacht. They promote binge drinking and drugs. Gotcha. Um, 
the hip hop agenda was supported, was laid out by Obama during his last presidencies purposely. That's why they had Tupac killed, because when they kill them, you gain fame. When people, your record sales go up, and then people listen to your lyrics and everything, and then you become famous, okay? That's how they do it, all right? Um, Tupac's still alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's in Cuba. Mm -hmm. um, basically, what happens is far. The hip hop agenda is an agenda to move drugs all over the United States. Mm -hmm. They move, you need to involve the DEA. They, they move all the dope, okay, all the dope on private jets, which don't get screened by, by, uh, by customs, by the by the yeah, 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 but, the okay. inside the United States, okay, they they move what's called high grade powered MDMA, they move cocaine and they move uh, liquid cocaine in the bottles too, okay, so they put the liquid cocaine in the bottles and they move it. I've seen the liquid cocaine, I've drank it myself, having sex with Diddy and Cassie, okay, it's not good, he drinks it all the time. All right, he calls it GG, but it's liquid cocaine. All right. Um, how do I know there's a conspiracy against Trump? Because it's in the Illuminati card deck. He should, I got you. He should look at it for himself. But let me let me bring you back sure. to uh, Thursday night, Friday morning. Sure. I mean, how did all of this? I think I better understand what you're what you're saying. But what I want to know is how did that prompt you? How did that make you do what you did? Well, we get into a point that his assassination is coming, mm -hmm. okay, because it's an agenda they're perpetrating on the media and the news. Example, Madonna is a client of Mercedes, Ben Mercedes. Mm -hmm. He has her go on public TV and say, oh, someone should, I have thought so many times of going up and blowing up the White House, gotcha. okay? They gave her that little message. That little message is Hillary's message, okay? Mm -hmm. Because Hillary sends it to uh, Gerogos, and Gerogos gives it to Mercedes, and they give it to gotcha. the yeah, dog. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. now I get, I get all that. You're, gonna need a, you're gonna need an internet so I can show you. If I show you the website, you're just gonna go like, oh, fuck. All right. Uh, help me understand you. Uh, sure. How old are you? I'm 42. I've been through all my life. Okay. I've had a great life. I've settled five, four point one two five million dollars with Diddy. Okay. okay, was he scared that I wasn't exposing? I don't want to talk about Diddy right now. I'm okay. going to talk about you. Help me understand you. I mean, who? I don't. Obviously, we never met. I know. I don't know you from Adam's cat. I know. I'm trying to, you know. We'll That's get back. We'll get back to the event. Hey, I don't. I got i got like 30 years of dogs, right. I'm good. Where, where, where are you from? Where, where, I'm where from? I was born in South Africa. Uh, what town? What, what city? Newcastle, the Valley of a Thousand Hills. I'm from Zululand. I'm what, what you call a Zulu. Okay. Right. I, was, uh, I was born there, and then my parents were Latin descent from Argentina. They escaped the military dictatorship in Argentina. Pinochet, all that? Uh, no, the Argentina one. Argentina. Yeah, my Pinochet was a Chile one. But oh, Chile? Okay. I can't right. remember. It was like a military dictatorship. I can't remember okay. the name. All right. All right. Well, uh, how, how, how many years did you stay in South Africa? A 12, 13, 12 years in South Africa, and I stayed 12 years in Argentina. And then I came here to the United States, and I've been here 20 years since. Okay. Yeah. 18 years. Actually. Right. Yeah. Parents. So you got a mother and father. They Dad. Alive. They came and visited me. Died here of okay. cancer. And mom went back and back at home. I think over visiting with uh, with my sister in Europe. Okay. Uh, what year did your father pass away? Um. Two years ago. Two years ago? Yeah. Okay. Did that have any effect on you? I mean, what was not your, really. your relationship not, uh, like with your father? Well, I suffered a little child abuse when I was a kid. Okay. And I believe it's, he's not my real dad, but it's okay, you know? All right. I Sometimes, you, you, you know, maybe that's, that's what he thought. I don't okay. Know. All right. And uh, your mother, uh, where, where's your mother right now? She's in Argentina. I think in Argentina, traveling in... in Europe. Okay. What's your relationship like with her? Distant, but distant. Okay. But uh, distant, but nice. All right. Well, uh, any brothers, any sisters? Yeah, both. Also distant, but nice. Okay. They both in 
they in Argentina. Well, my brother's in Argentina. My sister's in Europe with my mother. Oh, so you don't have um, family in the United States? Yeah. Just my dog bubbles. My sister. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, you're not married. You're single. I'm divorced. You're divorced. Yeah. Okay. My ex-wife is tired of trying one. I told her she's an attorney. She's an attorney. Yeah. Where does she live? In Boca Raton. In Boca Raton. Okay. Yeah. Uh, does she know anything about this? Uh, have you talked she, to anybody? Yeah, she kind of knows. But what happened was they've been tapping me so much my phones through intelligence. I figured out how they tap their iPhones. Okay. And basically, it's gone all the way up. And I see even Hillary knows that they've been watching me. They've been watching my. Now come, come back to me. We'll get back into that in just a minute. Let's just stay with your family members and everything. Sure. I'm just wondering if you if, if you talk to your ex-wife or anybody. Uh, I thought I thought no about time. about what happened about this. Yeah. Well, no, this was only me. It was premeditated to give a message to the American public, a wake-up call. It's called a wake-up call. Uh -huh. It's like when somebody rings a bell, for Americans to wake up. Americans like you, like me, like all of us here. Uh, you said premeditated, so you thought about this. You thought this through? Yeah. Uh, How I long have you been thinking about it? It's easy. That's like. Uh, help me understand. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't well, understand. really, when I. You, when you say premeditated, you must have been thinking about it for a while. How long have you been thinking about doing what you did? Well, when I say premeditated, it means that I went and did it by myself. That's all. And I didn't think about it like for uh, a while. Okay. I didn't plan it for oh, a Okay. When you say premeditated, I thought maybe you planned it out. Like I ran my own yeah. personal investigation, which I figured out with myself that. This is going on, and we still having issues of corruption at the highest place in our government. I get that. I get that. Now, when you say you did your own investigation, what'd you do? Basically, out of all the times I went and saw the attorneys, I did my research online, mm -hmm. and I found out the whole puzzle of their organization. Okay. All right. Uh, so you didn't tell. Well, before I ask that question. So you have an ex-wife. You got a girlfriend. You got, you got anybody that you talk to. I'm trying to understand. If I don't you talk got somebody that you, you interact with on a daily basis. Yes, I have a good friend, a breakfast buddy. His name is Louis David Gonzalez, uh -huh. and we go to the gym every day. He has nothing to do with what happened Thursday, though he's a witness. He's gonna be shot at by them, and he's a witness that Ross came and threatened me at my house. Post settlement. After we settled, did he send Ross and I asked him to go see if that was Ross and confirm his identity. So, so, Gonzalez, uh, he can back up what you're saying about yeah. Pity, P. Diddy and yeah. Ross and all that? Okay, yeah. all right. Um, and you said Gonzalez didn't know anything about your what you did? You didn't talk to him before? Nothing. Nothing? Okay. He knows nothing. He, didn't know, he was actually worried about me. He's like, hey, what's up? And I told him, look, man, What's happening is he's trying to cool things down, but then the the feds have been harassing him. The feds. I've been well, what, well, what's they, they have a big file of me like this, the feds. Uh -huh. Since because Pete Diddy and Mark Garagos have been trying to set me up and lock me up as an extortionist asking for money. It was not so. My settlement was breached and my settlement terms is view. One was called peaceful enjoyment. That means that it, if I went to your house or I did something, you'd actually pay me the full amount. Back and forth. I get all that. So yeah. I, I've been going through that since like 2012. Okay. So. All right, and, and Gonzalez knows about that. You talked to him about that kind of stuff? I talked to him alone because he's the only one that knows since the beginning. Gotcha. And then my ex-wife, she knows she saw the contract. She has a contract, a picture of a contract. Tony yeah. Trauma. You right. need to call her and ask her for a copy of the, of the settlement agreement. Okay. okay. All right. Where, where do you live at? Where, where's your house, sir? Really you close. Any Unit 177, just down the road from Trump's. You see, I want you to live close to Trump because I know they don't like being close to Trump. Uh -huh. You understand what I'm saying? They don't like that. So that's why I want you to Trump's. Okay. All right. Uh, you got a roommate? Uh, you live uh, alone? Okay. okay. All right. Um, how do you get around? Uh, you got a car? Yeah, or a Jeep. Like that? You got a Jeep. Jeep. It looks like a military Jeep. Okay. Where is that Jeep right now? Police have in custody. Okay. All right. Um, we'll get back to the Jeep in a minute. Um, 
Tell me about your employment. Uh, what, what, what do you do for work right now? Okay, right now I'm, I'm self-employed. I work with minerals and gemstones. I'm um, an old company called Pegasus, Pegasus Mineral Trading. Okay. Uh, that I inherited from my father. Previously, I had been... Um, well, well, before you go any further, uh, do you have like an actual office someplace? Do you work from home? Work from home. Okay, you, so you pretty much like online yeah. Uh, business? Yeah, but it's... it's I, I get busy two seasons a year. Like really busy. Uh, I get September and February. Okay. So it's like 15 days non-stop, each one. And then it's like just... Slide well, yeah. where I'm going with that is if uh, you work from home, do you have a computer? Do you work no, on the telephone? I, I, how do you I, do business? I, what I did is I, I threw away everything I had because... Well, well, before you go, what is everything? What, what, what did you, when you say you threw away everything, what's my, that? My documents, everything I had because I know they've been trying to follow me. And I, I just don't want, I just don't, don't want my personal info getting... You know, I got to know. I, I, so I mean, I, I think I understand, but I mean, what I'm trying to understand is how can you have a business and not have a computer or, or, or work the phone? Oh, so, I had it. I just threw them away the, the same day. I threw it all away. You threw what away? Yeah. My computers and everything. Well, where did you throw them away at? The garbage. And your garbage at your? Yeah, because they've been spying at me through that. They spy you through your computer, through your iPhone. They spy you through your TV screen, the cameras. Even if they off, they manage to do it. It's called intelligence. The CIA is available. You can do anything. Uh, uh, let me make sure I understand you now. Now, when you say you throw them away, you throw them into like a dumpster, or did you just throw them away in your trash can in and my you trash threw them can. away in the dumpster? In my trash can. Okay. Well, exactly what was it? Just like one computer? No, everything. My documents, the cell phone we were in. Uh, my computer, everything I threw, the TV, everything that they had been surveilling me on, I took it off because I wanted them to be in the dark. Okay. Because they've been watching me. So now they kind of freaked out, they kind of spooked out. But it needed to be done. And Donald needs to do his presidency correct. And he needs to know that these people are running him into the ground, running okay. the country into the ground. All right, we're going to come back to that. Uh, I'm not done with that, but I'm, again, I'm trying to help you and tr I'm trying to understand you, your daily routines, your business, that kind of stuff. Well, it's, um, I'm very different than you. I'm very intelligent. Okay. We all are very intelligent. I the can thing, see that, yeah. The thing is, you've been fed the wrong foods and medicines which blind you, okay? Those, most of the pharmaceutical industry is bogus. I, okay? I, I agree with you there. Yeah. I can tell you right now. Um, they have you popping pills and they poison you slowly so you die. Okay? That's the truth. You don't need any medicine. You're strong. You understand okay. what I'm saying? Right. Your body is called... The only way to come out now is called immunotherapy. That's all you need. Vitamin is immunotherapy. That's all you need. All right. Um, about my about my work ethics, okay, previous places that I've worked at, um, in the United States, well, do you want to know all of them or? I, as, as much as you can tell me, help me understand, uh, you okay. know, uh, I to, you said you work, you work for Pegasus right now, right, but you threw away all your, your stuff? Yeah, because it's a family business, it's really okay. simple, right. it's just like, I just need to use square cash. Right. Go, let's go back, uh, what did you do before Pegasus? I worked, uh, I took a break off during the settlement, did my research. Um, I took care of my dad, he had died. Um, before that, I did investment, real estate investments with Section 8 properties, but I was started getting harassed. So, because they threatened to sue me, I sold the properties. Before that, I worked for RG Electronics. I was the top producer, the top, the top salesman of TVs in 2012, in the last okay. quarter. Um, before that, I worked for a company called MA Labs, Mad Labs, mm -hmm. out of uh, the Raw here in 87th. They computer components manufacturers. Mm -hmm. Before that, I worked for uh, S&T of America, which is Micron out of Idaho. They uh, semiconductor artificial memory okay. chips, uh, DDR memory, basically. Um, before that, I worked as a self-employed training electronics South America. Before that, I came here 
as an internship as an accounting manager for the PRS Resorts in Key West, Florida. Okay, all right. So pretty much all those jobs were in South Florida, in uh, Miami yeah. area. Yeah. I always stayed in South okay. Florida. Um, where would you go? You school college? You go? I went to University of South Florida, which is the same school as uh, the priest, the Pope we have right now. I started travel industry management. Uh, business and travel industry management, okay. but then I got I went into the electronics sector. Okay, all right. Here um, is that's what's been brought. Okay, all right. Um, do you have uh, anybody that you can think of uh, that you used to work with uh, that you trust? Uh, anybody? Uh, any former coworkers? Uh, anybody um, that you would reach out to if you ever needed help? At any of those jobs? No. No. Okay. I'm pretty self-confident. I mean, I'm, I'm I have my hair on my shoulders. And I know what I'm doing. Okay. All right. And I mean, I know you all think this is this is bogus, or you, you may not yet understand it. But look, I got three bullet holes. I got you. I, I didn't. I did this for the country. I, trust me. I feel great. Okay. And I'll do it any day because at least I avoid a president getting shot. And at least I avoid other dummies trying to fuck up our country. Excuse my language. No, 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 you're good, man. And my people, because my Americans are my people. Okay. I have issues with when people mess around my people. All right, uh, tell me, uh, all right, let's, let's go back to a Thursday night, uh, Friday morning. Um, before you did what you did, well, what was your what was your state of mind? I mean, um, uh, what it were you was thinking? cool as ice. I went there. I knew what I was doing. It's not like I didn't know what I was doing. I knew what I was doing, and my point was to take down the flat and put it in the front desk and call the police, shoot the chandelier, to tell them to stop getting Arabia, Saudi Arabia money. All right. That's all because. Obama is behind him, so is Hillary, okay? So he's got to stop taking the Arabian money because he's letting everything slide. He's letting Obama stand right behind him and so Hillary. And he knows who they are. Mm -hmm. He knows who they are. So does the CIA. Maybe the Secret Service doesn't because you all work for the president, correct? Right, right. You only work for the president, correct? Some other people, but mainly the president, right? Exactly. So the problem is, you're his circle, the CIA, and then are a different circle. Well, let me rephrase that. We don't work for him. We provide a service to protect him. Exactly. That's why I want you to talk, and I would like this to be told to Donald Trump. Tell him, I'm a supporter of him. I love him. I don't hate him. I know what his issues are. He has an issue right now with him that's bugging him a lot. It's called Stormy Daniels, right? Mm -hmm. Why is it bugging him so much? Why is he lying to the people? Why does why is Donald lying to the people about Stormy? And how does that make you feel personally? I know the truth. I think it's a dummy situation. I think he should put his pants up and explain to the American people what the problem is. Stormy is was sent by Gerogos to Abenadi. okay they know each other because I know Christopher's been talking to Gerogos for years they've been doing my attorneys here Mace Laura they've been doing business they've been getting referrals for years after I cut the deal with Diddy they made friends and they be doing deals I understand and all that. they threw me into the feds well. for conspiracy of something that I had not done. I was claiming breach of settlement. Now, um, the way the story is, it works as the following. Donald has an issue. He's doctor prescribing Propecia. You know what Propecia is? It's the, uh, the skin or the hair. Hair growth right. thing. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So basically what happens when you take Propecia, your dick goes limp but limp because you're taking Propecia. He has air issues. His doctor, birthday, slipped the Propecia out, okay? So for him, Stormy's story is bad news because it's embarrassing. 
That's why he's going crazy with that. It's not that he's lying to the American people. He's embarrassed about Stormy's situation, okay? He paid her, and she's coming back with some bullshit stories, okay? Trying to expose and defame the presence of the false...